Whether you accidentally dropped a candid yam or just can't say no to a sweet puppy face, there are a couple of things you should look out for when it comes to pets this Thanksgiving. Our Nixon Norman tells us how we can keep our little friends safe. Mashed potatoes, gravy, mac and cheese, ham, snap out of it. Now, I know your mouth is watering just thinking about your Thanksgiving feast, but just as you're salivating, so are those furry members of your family. And although it may be hard to say no to those eyes, there's a few things you should avoid giving your pet this holiday. Bones. No bones, no uh, large amounts of meat, fat, especially ham, none of the grease drippings. Okay, so no bones, fat or grease, got it. And although they can't have those things, Dr. Shepard says you can still make a plate for your pet. Now, the key to this is moderation. Think tablespoons when you are divvying out portions for your pet. And if you have a glimmer of doubt whether or not a pet can have a certain item. Honestly, you can just ask Dr. Google. Now, this tip isn't dealing with food, but could help reduce stress for both you and your pet this holiday. Be aware that your dog might, or your cat, um, but your dog might escape, run away, or your dog might act aggressive toward some of the um, new people. Cats will go run away too because they'll be really scared. In the instance that someone does get loose, it's important to make sure they're easily identifiable. So a collar and tag are a must. And I hate to bring this up while talking about food, but say your furry friend does get into something they shouldn't have eaten. Things like table salt and hydrogen peroxide could help fix that. But when it comes to hydrogen peroxide, depending on the size of your pet, um, sometimes, you know, just a teaspoon does it, but a lot of times it ends up being more like a half or a full cup. And so you just want them to vomit quickly. And this really goes without saying, but just so we're clear, no alcohol, <laughs> you know, no alcohol. Dr. Shepard also mentioned that corn cobs should not be given to pets as chew toys, because let me just put it this way, that cob may get stuck on its way out, which could end badly. But for more tips on how to keep your pets safe this Thanksgiving, head on over to fox54.com. Nixon Norman, Fox 54 News.